WFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to the 2 p.m. update with me, David White. And of course, uh, we got a market uh, continuing to head lower. Uh, if you listen to the show over the last uh, four or five days, uh, especially Wednesday, we were starting to say, you know what, maybe just a little bit too much volume uh, leading to a buying climax. That's a term that uh, Richard Wyckoff coined early in the, uh, is it 1900s or 1800s? I digress. Anyway, I think it was around, he was big on Wall Street from about 1910 to I think about 1935. I think he died somewhere around there. Uh, anyway, uh, he had a lot of uh, terms that he would use, and most of those terms were because he had kind of the Wall Street Journal of the day. In fact, uh, he sold his newspaper uh, of uh, Wall Street, and I think that's what it was called, the newspaper of Wall Street. It became the Wall Street Journal at some time later. But uh, uh, he had a lot of terms. But uh, certainly um, when it, all the volume came in at once and everybody has kind of a uh, orgy of buying, you get far too much, far too quick. There is kind of a lot of the three bears in it, and that is you don't want it too cold. Uh, you want it just about right. And if it gets too hot, generally it's over. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the old saying that the light bulb that burns twice as bright only burns half as long, uh, except uh, the one that actually burns twice as bright only lasts about a tenth as long, um, if there was a little bit of truth in advertising in it. Anyway, we're off about 1.6% in the S&P's NASDAQ's off 2%. Dow, about 1.2%. Russell, about 1.6%. Crude uh, on the follow-up of yesterday, which is we've got an absolute torrent of crude hitting the market now as many of these shadow shippers had huge amounts of Russian oil that were just waiting to get to market. Uh, so we're probably, as they say, the best thing for low price is low price. Watch out for it. We'll be back uh, in a minute with the show. The reality.